In that state, he drifted to an otherworldly place where he came to learn the origin of ninjutsu. When ninjutsu, or rather ninshu, emerged, there were two brothers. The genius elder Indra and the aloof younger Ashura. Although Indra was an exceptionally skilled practitioner of ninshu, it was Ashura who was chosen as the next leader. Ashura practiced a way of life that valued the bonds between friends, and so he was recognized as the future of Ninshu. Indra, however, was unable to accept that decision and assaulted his brother. Thus began a conflict between brothers that stretched many long years. With this power, I will establish perfect order. I will forge a perfect world without strife. There is no place for such violence, Elder Brother. I do not wish to fight you. Tend to engage me in combat, as if you are worthy enough to be my opponent! This power, I will establish perfect order. I will forge a perfect world without strife. There is no place for such violence, Elder Brother. I do not wish to fight you. You tend to engage me in combat. As if you are worthy enough to be my opponent! You will never be my equal! Dare oppose me. Asha, you may be my younger brother, but I will show no mercy after I defeat you. I will build a world of peace and order through might! It would all be in vain, Elder Brother. Who will create nothing but misery? True peace consists in human connection and cooperation. That is where true peace lies. Ridiculous. People must be brought to heal! Come to me, friends! Foolish. I am mandated by heaven itself to shepherd them! No. People will never accept that. What you describe is nothing more than oppression through force and... You will never be my equal! Where did such power come from? I have people who care about me. As long as I have them, I will never fall! That is the power of unity! <laughs> Except Ninshu. To say nothing of you. Ashura and Indra. Although their physical forms perished, the chakra they generated was reborn countless times without ever disappearing. And so, in the current age, the younger brother Ashura was reborn as Naruto, while the elder brother Indra was reborn as Sasuke. Chakra should not be used to amplify the power of only one individual. If power is concentrated in any one person, they will lose control and ultimately be possessed by that power, just as happened with Madara in the current age. Learning the origin of ninjutsu, Naruto gained renewed determination to fight for his friends.
After he awoke, Naruto joined with Sasuke to face Madara once again. Madara had absorbed the Divine Tree, gaining an immortal form. In unison, Naruto and Sasuke took up the challenge of fighting this unprecedented enemy. You cannot defeat me. I have the power of the six. I'm not gonna defeat you, stupid! We're gonna defeat! <laughs> you, Madara. of is nothing but a transient one. True peace only exists in dreams. Dreaming is the only way for us to reach Utopia. Enough about your dreams. <laughs> if you really want to go inside a dream, then just go by yourself. <laughs> and you will realize that my path was the correct one. My infinite superior will lead people to true happiness. The path of the shinobi will end. The path to a new dream shall begin. Your brain must have run it while you were underground all these things. The infinite Tsukiyomi isn't going to end our path. We've still got a long way to go. We're going to protect the path of the shinobi. <laughs> <laughs> I will destroy everything. I will destroy everything. I'll put you to rest. Relics from the past need to learn when to shut up. I can't guess it! Madara repelled them both and activated infinite Tsukuyomi. However, immediately after, he was stabbed in the chest by Black Zetsu. 
And I've been waiting for this moment the entire time. The moment when you complete the infinite Tsukuyomi and use up all your power. You... You ingrate. <laughs> what? What's going on? Where Madara had stood, there then appeared the progenitor, Kaguya Otsutsuki, who first possessed Chakra.
sweat just keeps pouring out of me. This chakra is crazy. It's on a whole different level than Madara's. Naruto and his allies engaged in a desperate struggle against an enemy with the power of a god. But having obtained Obito's Sharingan once again, Kakashi relayed instruction to Team 7's former members, allowing them to regain their composure. What do you say we go and save the world? All chakra belongs to me. It's time to unite it all again. by the way that all those shinobi lived and died. It isn't something that you two can mess around with. And I'm not gonna let it end. We're going to protect the history of shinobi. Stop making this difficult. Oh!
We're both women here, so don't make fun of me! No! Cha yes! Six paths! Planetary, planetary devastation! devastation! By working together, Team 7 ultimately succeeded in sealing Kaguya. The tailed beasts absorbed by Kaguya were released, finally bringing an end to the long and bitter war. Dad. Before I disappear, there's something I wanted to say to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, thanks. Tell mom on the other side. Tell her that she doesn't need to worry about me at all. That I'm gonna be fine. Okay. I'll tell her everything. All that remained was for Naruto and Sasuke to combine their powers to dispel the infinite Tsukuyomi. However, Sasuke declared that he would execute the five Kage. This is my answer. Revolution. Planetary devastation! The brothers' battle is going to end here.
He remembered Itachi, who died branded as a traitor and rejected by everyone. Concluding that Itachi most of all deserved to be Hokage, Sasuke decided that he alone would bear all the hatred just as his brother had. That, however, was a way of thinking Itachi rejected, as he once explained to Naruto. Simply becoming Hokage won't make everyone accept you. Everyone's acceptance is what gets you there. Therefore, Naruto indicated that Sasuke did not understand Itachi's way of life, but he could not reverse Sasuke's decision. Doubts of the past must be cut off and made anew. And I'll start with you. I won't let you do that! I learned everything from people of the past! I leave Sasuke to you. You're the one who can stop my little brother. I'm never gonna let you cut that away! In the final valley, where they had clashed once before, Naruto and Sasuke commenced their last battle ever. Just like before, you're going to lose here. I won't let you land any of the punches you did last time. And I won't hand the title of Hokage to you either. You don't understand what it means to be the Hokage. Useless. You're going to die here, Naruto! Burn away. Burn away. I won't lose, no matter what. I learned everything from people of the past. Because I had my friends that I was able to keep moving forward! They were created the me that's here now! I'm never gonna let you cut that away! Then, you must know what you need to do. Damn it. It doesn't matter how much you try and fight. I promised Sakura that I'd bring you back! I'm not going to keep my promise this time! You're going to die here, Naruto! Burn away! erase you, and then no one will stand in the way of my revolution! I'm going to end this with Susanoo!
No, you won't. Kurama and I are gonna stop you! We're going to protect history, and all of our connections with our allies, and everyone else, including... Without a means of changing Sasuke's mind, the situation appeared hopeless. But... What's wrong? Don't tell me you've given up already. Is it really that easy for you two to sever your connection? It isn't. Just like Obito and me, your connection with Sasuke can't be severed that easily. Remember, you didn't just reconnect Kakashi and me. My heart was so hardened. And it wasn't just me. You opened up a lot of other people's hearts as well. Enemies. People surrounded by hatred. People who rejected the other villages. People who were hurting inside. Even the tailed beasts. You were even capable of solving the problems of the world itself. Now, there's only one person left. It should be easy for you to save a stubborn friend, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. Remember that you bear the encouragement of all those people on your shoulders. The connections you've made with your teachers and your peers. The hopes of your friends. If you don't have enough power, then just borrow it from their hands. Because, Naruto, that's all the power that you created. Your heart isn't dead yet. If he's submerging himself in darkness, then just use your hands to pull him back up. And if he tries to shake you off, then scream to wake him up. There's no such thing as a feeling that cannot be conveyed. Everyone believes in you, Naruto. You make the impossible possible. Naruto, that's why. You need to get back up already. Don't be afraid to look stupid as you struggle.
what do we know? You can do it, Naruto! Connections don't disappear! You need to harden your fist and stand up again! Keep that fire in your eyes! Let out a roar! Come on! Sasuke's waiting for you! Go to him, Naruto! This is all for your sake. For the sake of the future! For the sake of your friends! friends. Friend. Forward! Hearing the voices of people he had once bonded with, Naruto rose up again. He would fight for his friends. Enough already! Just let me cut you down! You can't cut your connection to me! Connection this, connection that! Just shut up already! Connections are what make this world such a pain! The stronger the connection, the more it tortures me! And Naruto! My connection with you is the most irritating one of all! Why didn't you just cut me off when I went into the darkness? How could I? You are like a brother to me! So, my body and my heart just act on their own! I just kept thinking, hoping that you wouldn't have to be all alone! Exactly like you. And I was always alone. I felt better knowing there was someone like me out there. I was happy. I wanted to be your friend, be around you sooner. But I didn't. I was also jealous of you. You were good at everything. So I decided you'd be my rival. You were my friend. You always have been. I had not. But I built bonds. And then in our missions as T7. I kept chasing after you. I wanted to be like you. So, Sasuke, I've never said it before, but I'm happy. Happy I knew you. Naruto, no matter what you say now, I'm not changing my mind. I'm still going to destroy each and every person in the Leaf, including you. Either defeat me and become the hero who saved the village, or fall to me and just be known as a pitiful loser. Those are your only choices. I'm not gonna be a loser, or the hero who defeated you. I won't be either. Why? What do you want? I'm going to beat you here, just like I did before. You're going to lose, without ever matching up to me! You know that I'm different from how I was back then, don't you? I won't lose anymore! No, you haven't changed. That's what's irritating me so much! What? <laughs> You've always been the same. That attitude of yours has never changed! Damn it! <laughs> to be just like you. I really admired you. We both did. Right from the beginning. 
He never actually said it, but we're friends. So I'm. No, no, don't want to give you to Orochimaru. Why, none of you? Why don't you go so far from me? Because this is the first bond I've ever had like this. That's why I'll do anything I can to stop you. If that's how it is, then I'll just have to sever that bond. What? If only you weren't here. If only you've never been born. I. For you, I've been by your side from the very start. Stubborn, remember? I won't give up until you give up. to talk. You're the one who's always doing stupid stuff. Just looking at you pisses me off. <laughs> you can't do that, can you? I'm awesome! How petty can you be? You should be ashamed of yourself. Huh. I'm not ashamed at all! You're the one who's always sulking all the time. Just looking at you pisses me off. Huh? You should play more with the rest of us! If you just played with us a little more... Whoa, wait, what am I saying? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Did you just confuse yourself? You really make no sense. Let's... 
finish this. This battle. During the course of their exhausting battle and clash of emotions, Naruto and Sasuke both suffered serious injuries. Unable to move, they lay side by side on a riverbank, where Sasuke finally admitted defeat. I'll decide this issue myself, once and for all. How can you decide anything by dying? You might as well live on and help me instead, if you're just gonna do that! What I want to do is cooperate with all the shinobi! Including you, of course. There's no telling when I may stand up to defy you again in the future. You won't do this kind of thing anymore. How can you be sure of that? Don't make me repeat myself! Come on, you're the one who still doesn't get it. Now that I think about it, I guess you always have been surprisingly dense. Shut up. You loser. After that, Naruto and Sasuke dispelled the infinite Tsukuyomi and safely released the ninja imprisoned within it. And that put an end to their long-running feud. Many days passed. By following his own ninja way, Naruto was appointed the seventh Hokage, satisfying the wishes of the people. He then continued to watch over the hidden leaf. And that, for the time being, concludes the tale of Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs>